What's up YouTube, this is your annual movie nerd here to update all of you on the annual movie news, reviews, and clues. So last night there was a big trailer drop and that was the trailer for Captain America Civil War, the next installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So my first reaction going into this trailer was, oh no, this is just going to be an excuse for them to slap a Captain America movie on, a new, on another Avengers movie because of all of the people that are going to be in it. However, after seeing this trailer, I have to say, this is officially a Captain America movie. This is not going to be another Avengers movie. So it starts off, ironically, with the post credit scene from Ant-Man, which is basically Captain America and, and uh, his friend Falcon, Sam, talking to Bucky, basically saying, you know, do you remember anything? And Bucky's starting to remember a little bit of stuff that's going on. He tells Cap the name of his mother. Your mom's name is Sarah. And what he used to do when he was a kid. He used to wear newspapers in your shoes. So Bucky ends up escaping, so this brings in General Ross, you know, the tool that was hunting the Hulk back in The Incredible Hulk, who basically says, Cap, we love what you're doing, but you're a loose cannon and you need to abide by our rules more. And Cap's already had his fair share of governing bodies that aren't so trustworthy, so he's basically like, no, not happening. So then in comes Tony Stark, basically saying, look, you got to abide by these rules or else we're no better than the bad guys. Basically what happened was is that after the Avengers disastrous last mission, plus a new incident that's going to happen in the beginning of this movie, the government is now enforcing this set of rules called the Sokovia Accords, which basically forces all superheroes to register as an agent of the government or be arrested on site. So naturally, Cap is not willing to go with this, and this causes a friction between him and Star. Also thrown into this is Bucky, because as I'm sure a few of you actually remember, Tony's got a little bit of a personal beef with Bucky because Bucky was the one who killed his parents, was the assassin, because when Hydra was taking out all key figures that threatened them, Howard Stark was one of them and Bucky was their assassin. So Bucky's still recovering from his brainwashing, um, brainwashing, but Stark's, Star, Stark wants him dead. Stark kind of wants him dead and Cap doesn't want that. So there was a lot to look for in this movie, a lot of Easter eggs. Black Widow's clearly not on Cap's side. She's basically telling him, if you do any of this, you're getting arrested. You saying you'll arrest me? And then you got a shot of Black Panther kicking Bucky into the side of a dumpster. You've got Cap's team. But the clincher shot was easily the last shot where it shows Cap and Bucky beating the shit out of Stark. And then the one shot before that where it's just like, look, I know we've been through a lot, but he's my friend. And Tony's just like, so was I. It's like that that's the shot you know where it's like th th this is going to this is going to leave some emotional damage. Like this might be the first MCU movie where there are actual stakes where it's like you don't know who's going to win because it's the good guys fighting the good guys. It's almost like the reverse black mass where it was only bad guys. This one it's like only good guys. But anyway, my overall reaction was yes can't wait for this movie. This is on my top 10 list of anticipated movies of next year, and it's going to be awesome. I love the Russo brothers. I love what they did with Civil with Winter Soldier. They made Winter Soldier not only one of the best superhero movies, but also one of the best spy movies. It was one of the best actual movies. They took a character, Captain America, who everyone considered to be the most boring Avenger, and made him interesting. They made him cool. And this movie looks like it's going to continue that trend. So I can't wait for this movie. I hope all of you are just as excited as I I am, and that's it. Have a good one.